Pierce Blossy, designated bench warmer, Penargel Boys JV team, July 16th, 2012. Pierce in at the end of a game in a 48 to 23 loss. Two consecutive threes are made against Pius 10th High School on the left side by Pierce in a, in a varsity game. Team is coached by Al Blunt. Pierce to enter 10th grade in the fall of 2012. Yes! Okay, now listen. See? We have kids who can shoot it, but he won't run an offense for it. You know, there are kids who can penetrate, who are athletic, who are smart, who can, you know, there are other kids who can just shoot. If you've got kids who can shoot, you run offenses, you give them the ball in their spots. Well, let's go. Get it down. Get it down. Watch your back. Watch. See? Yeah! Run an offense for that! Run an offense! Pierce Blasi, Penargel JV pregame warm-ups on December 20th, 2012. Assistant coach Severi instructs Pierce not to practice the NBA range threes and tells him he can only take long range threes in closing seconds of quarter or when the team is down big. In this clip, Pierce is 60% from the right side that day.
Put it up. Put it up, Pierce. Closer. 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 Oliver. Closer. Way to go, Pierce. Pierce Blossie, December 8, 2012 game against Notre Dame East Stroudsburg in a junior varsity game. After putting up a three-point attempt, after coming in, Coach Severi tells Pierce if he ever puts up a three-point shot again, he will be buried on the bench and he will never play. White kids can go zero percent from the three-point arc. White kids can and do put up as many three-point shots as they want as you will see in the December 22nd 2012 game posted. After this game that you will see next following that JV game in a game against Northwest Lehigh on December 11, 2012. After two minutes of play, Pierce is benched. Pierce made one regular range three-pointer and missed one mid-range shot.
Pierce Blossie, five foot ten inches tall, tenth grade, second tallest non-obese player on the Panargel JV team. Forbidden from shooting the NBA three-point range shot in games. Last person off the bench in the last four games he was present. Panargel coaches will not implement an offense with a three-point shot for Pierce. On JV, one player has a uh, has a set inbound play for a three-point shot. On varsity, one player has two three-point offenses set up for him. On JV, JV slash varsity, white, 300 pound plus, Matt Hanna has a play specifically for him. I would post videos of Manhattan, but I don't want to be charged with more criminal harassment complaints. In the JV game without Matt Hanna, the JV Panargel Boys team played against Moravian on December 20th, 2012, and won by 49 points. That is because the team didn't have to wait for Hannah to get back down the court, among other obvious reasons. On December 22, 2012, the Panargel JV Boys team played the winless 0-4 Palmerton team. With Oliver and Pierce not at the game, the Palmerton JV team won 57 to 46. Oliver Blossy in 11th grade at 6 feet tall is the tallest non-obese player on the JV team in Panargel and he's relegated to play backup to Matt Hanna and second to Matt Hanna. When coach Al Blunt was at the Bethlehem Catholic and Lincoln Leadership Schools. In four years, he did not play, let alone start, one obese player. Al comes to Panargel and suddenly has a white epiphany. Panargel. Coaches change social promotion of white players continue. How many Colonial League coaches play obese players on their JV teams or varsity teams? How many Colonial League coaches would bury an NBA three-point threat on the bench to play five foot seven players?